hi. Is this thing on? Okay. Um, so I'm Mariah and I started talking yesterday about, um, being shaped by disability. That's a hashtag shaped by disability that Pauline from one leg up productions has, um, started. And one of the, yesterday I talked about what my various disabilities are. That is I'm deaf. I have TBI and I also have CPTSD and I am the mom of a kid on the autism spectrum and the mom of a kid who has Down syndrome. So they have disabilities that are different from my own. Now, when I talk about shaped, being shaped by disability, I think it's probably really um, helpful to clarify that I see disability as a platform upon which I experience the world. So that platform, and that's actually a really, a really big piece right there because it is the vantage point from which I or my kids experience our world, our reality. So it's not so much something that happens to me. It's more about the way that I see through it. I don't know if that makes sense. It's sort of like, you know, I'm on a diving board, you know, um, in a swimming pool. And disability is that, that piece that I jump from. So jump, jump, boom. So the way I, I hear the world is through this lens of hearing or silence. The way that I, I remember or perceive or internalize aspects of the world are through my brain and through my emotions and all of these different filters and lenses and things. So it's more of a platform through which I experience the world. And I want to also say that, um, that there are so many intersections in our experiences um, that contribute to building those respective platforms. So my platform isn't, you know, just the, the physical mental pieces. It's also the fact that I'm white, the fact that I grew up um, largely outside of the United States. So I grew up in the Pacific Basin um, in Fiji, Hawaii, Japan, Taiwan, China. So I grew up in the Pacific Basin, and but I am white American. That's a huge part of it. Another part is that my family was very, very religious and we weren't religious like Christian religious, we were Baha'i. And I grew up a missionary kid in, um, in Fiji, Baha'i missionary kid. And that is, um, one of the, the, the pieces in that is that with, with, they say in the Baha'i faith that with, with fire, we test the gold. So that's about being tested by God. And a lot of disability is viewed as a test or something that you overcome. And that's more, I mean, part of, it's not that that's a part of Baha'i writings, but that is the way that my parents interpreted um, Baha'i writings. And not necessarily with an eye on disability, but it was just more about, um, about any challenge in life is something that you need to overcome and that God is testing you and you're going to get stronger and you're going to be all the better for it. So, um, so the, the, the pressure wasn't on anyone around me. The pressure was on me. The pressure was on me to somehow hear or figure things out or, um, or just deal, you know, be able to navigate my world without accommodation because none of what I was was considered um, disabled. It was just, oh, Mariah has a hard time hearing or Mariah um, can't hear without hearing aids or, you know, Mariah falls asleep all the time, you know, or Mariah can't remember anything or, you know, all of these things were just whatever. It wasn't like, oh yeah, Mariah has disabilities. No, you know, and that would be considered like a bad thing. You're 
you don't want to have disabilities. You don't want to be one of them. No, no, you have this and you're going to overcome it and you're going to be stronger. So, so, you know, that's another aspect of that, that, that went into building that platform of mine, you know, that platform of, of disability was, um, was that in, internalized, um, ableism and internalized feelings that this wasn't something that I should be proud of. Um, I think that's it for now. I don't want this to get too long, but hey, I see there's a few people. It's so cool. I, I yeah, I kind of like this. Um, anyway, I'm still figuring out how to finish all of that pieces about uploading it with YouTube and OG really helped me download that and upload that. So that's coming together and that'll be cool. But I don't want this to be too long because I don't know how it's it's going to end up with the upload and captions and everything. So if you do have a question for me regarding disability or anything that I've talked about, um, just shoot at me. That would be um, a lot of fun to to talk back and forth about this. But like I said, I'm just going to be giving little snippets every day about um, about being shaped by disability, about unpacking my experience of having disabilities. And today that was my point is that I see disability as a platform upon which I live. And I also think that that platform has many components and disability is one of those components and it layers onto it. So that's it.